If you're struggling with anxiety and depression, you're going to want to watch this video. So my name is Dr. Leslie Allen. I'm the owner of the Center for Holistic Healing and the, the creator of Overcome Autoimmunity Regain Your Health Functional Medicine Program. And today I really want to dive into one of my favorite topics and one of my favorite symptoms to really help clients overcome because um, as a holistic provider, I've been practicing holistic medicine for many years, teaching people how to meditate and do yoga, medical therapeutic yoga to really take on this holistic approach to healing both the mind, the body, and the spirit, as well as the really putting an emphasis on the gut-brain axis, okay? And the one thing that most people don't understand is the strong connection between the gut and the brain. We're starting to identify this and, and more and more research is coming out about it, but as a provider it, or as a patient, if you go to your provider and you say, I'm having anxiety or I'm depressed, then they're oftentimes gonna give you a medication for that specific symptom. However, what I find with the majority of my clients that have this symptom that they're reporting, and it can be severe, um, is oftentimes there's an underlying gut dysbiosis. So whether it's candida or maybe a bacterial, a low-grade bacterial um, infection within the gut, a dysbiosis of that microbiome that is fueling the process. So how does this work? So what happens is these bacteria or the yeast, they will eat up the building blocks of the neurotransmitters that then produce your serotonin, your dopamine. And so when that starts to happen, you can actually have this heightened response to stress because you no longer have those neurotransmitters to give you that mood stabilization. Also, 90% of our serotonin comes from the gut. So, you know, that is the number one neurotransmitter that actually gives you mood stabilization. And um, then the neurons in, in the brain, they can convert. Um, tryptophan is the building block of serotonin. And tryptophan can actually go down two separate pathways in the brain. We hope that it goes down the pathway that produces serotonin. Again, that mood stabilization. But often what happens when we have this underlying gut infection is that whether it's fungal or bacterial, um, is that that can increase that that. Um, conversion of tryptophan down a highly inflammatory pathway. So now you're getting this brain fog and you're really not feeling well. Maybe you've got migraines that are also contributing to a lower quality of life. And, um, and then that is what happens in this situation is now all of a sudden, and especially if you don't have enough of the building blocks that are required for the, um, the production of neurotransmitters, is that you can, also, you can often get this um, um, heightened stress response because you don't have the mood stabilization. So now the smallest task, which maybe didn't bother you, a month ago, maybe three years ago, it was no big deal. You could multitask and manage a lot, a lot of different things being on your plate at one time, but now maybe the smallest task then activates your sympathetic nervous system, that fight and flight, your adrenaline, and you're staying stressed out all the time. What happens when we get in that, that stress response is now all of a sudden blood flow is being pulled away from the gut. So now you're not getting that adequate digestion and absorption. I hear it all the time. I'm eating healthy, I'm meditating, I'm doing my stress management strategies, but I still am not getting the results I'm looking for. And I will be the first to tell you that you can meditate and uh, you can meditate until you 
fall fast asleep or, you know, it's just, it doesn't matter. You're not gonna correct the situation until you really know what the underlying root cause is. So that way, if it is a bacterial or a yeast infection, you can specifically direct your treatment to that specific root cause. I hope you found this video helpful if you have any questions. Um, again, my name is Dr. Leslie Allen and I'm more than welcome to help you out with your, your health concerns. Have a great day.